Hi everybody, this is Jackie from Hair and Beauty Wealth Mindset. I have been promising in some of my previous videos that I'm going to show you a technique which is called EFT tapping, which is called emotional freedom technique. Now, um, throughout our lives, we have different emotions that happen and um, some of those emotions that we can relate to, which is sometimes I'm not good enough and we can find ourselves comparing to other people and what i want to do is i want to show you a tool and there are worksheets that you can follow along and tap along to what i want to do first of all is um, explain what eft tapping is um, and then you're going to have a chance to experience that if you've not checked out there's a hypnotherapy one on here hypnotherapy relaxation session as well on the hair and beauty wealth mindset group so please do um, participate in that one as well because that's a really good one about giving the world a hug at the moment so let me explain to you what EFT tapping is in the far east they actually look at treating the body externally before they treat it internally. So it's not like, oh, here we just pop pills. They will look at things like acupuncture, acupressure. So what EFT tapping does is it allows us to actually work on certain meridian points. And it's about the flow that's happening in our body. So um, what we have is certain pressure points, which I'm going to go through with you. Um, and then there is a little EFT tapping sheet with about I am not enough or I am enough, shall I say. So let me go through with you, first of all, how the EFT tapping works. So what you do, first of all, before you start any particular session, and depending on what it is that you're dealing with, it could be chocolate, it could be sweets, it could be smoking, it could be just um, feeling anxious, anxiety, um, whatever the actual thing is. And it's fantastic to use with children as well, because it's a very simple tool that they can actually use to get out some frustration or anger. Um, so you can really use it and benefit from it. So I'm going to talk you through the tapping points. So the first tapping point you have, which is on here, which is your karate chop. And the karate chop is about having the flow of energy that goes through your body. The next one is your eyebrows and your eyebrows actually relates to your bladder. But it also is very good for trauma, hurt, restlessness, impatience, um, which is through here. You have the side of the eye, okay, which is related to your gallbladder. And that's to do with rage, anger, uh, resentment, fear of change, muddled thinking. Then you have your stomach meridian, which is underneath the eye. And that's related to fear, anxiety, worry, emptiness, and disappointment. You then have underneath the nose, which is to do with embarrassment, shame, guilt, fear you have your chin which is confusion uncertainty embarrassment and then you have your collarbone which can be either side and that's to do with um, your worry indecision feeling stuck general stress then you have one that's underneath the arm i call it like the monkey underneath the arm it's kind of like tapping underneath the arm just below the actual um, armpit and actually through that and that's to do with your spleen and that's to do with observation worry hopelessness insecurity and poor self-esteem the next you have is the top of the head which is your inner critic lack of focus and clarity so there's different areas that you tap and what they do is what they're going to do is get the flow of energy working in your body so I'm going to be working on the technique I am enough um, because I do believe everybody goes for it, especially when you're self-employed, when you're working for yourself, you always second guess yourself. Am I enough? Are my skills enough? Um, even when I come to doing videos, am I enough? You know, sometimes you just have to go for it. Do you remember the first time that you did your client, your column of clients? You're like, am I enough? Is, am, I, am I good enough? Um, and so doubt sets in so this is a really good tool to help you so what we're going to do first of all is I want you to think of the phrase I am enough and I want you to think on a scale of one to ten one I don't feel enough and ten I feel ready to go good to go 
where would you rate yourself on that? Now, when you are doing this, please make sure that you're actually sitting um, and you're allowing yourself to do this. Um, and make sure when you finish, um, you have a glass of water. And also you could find you have a little bit of a shift in your body as you do it. Um, and this is about releasing things from the body. So you might be holding on to quite a lot of different things. And by doing this technique, you might find you might have a little bit of a shift in the body and you might feel a little bit out of sorts. So just allow yourself a little bit of time to calm down afterwards. So please do it when you have time to actually a little bit of me time to yourself. So um, once you've rated yourself from one to 10, remember one, I don't feel enough and 10, I feel, um, I'm good to go. What we're going to do is we're going to start to tap. So if you want to follow along your sheets, um, as I said, you, you, can, um, you can download them. They're here. If you can't get them, then let me know and I can email, email them to you as well. So we're going to start first of all through here and you're going to start tapping which is just on your karate prompt through here even though i doubt i'm not i am good enough i choose to love and accept myself even though i doubt my worthiness i choose to love and accept myself even though I doubt myself and my abilities, I choose to love and accept myself. Now you're going to go to the eyebrow, which is this area here, and you're going to start to tap all of this doubt if I'm good enough. Edge of the eye, all of this doubt of worthiness. Underneath the eye. Sometimes I feel I'm not enough. Under the nose. I tell myself or others. On the chin. I don't have enough. Collarbone. So I'm not good enough to have what I want. under the arm. I don't deserve to have what I want. Top of the head. And I have all these reasons why I believe. Eyebrows. Maybe I was told. Side of the eye. Maybe I was told directly that I was not good enough. under the eye. Maybe I was told I was not enough. Under the nose. Or maybe that's what I decided. On the chin. Based on the things that I was told. On the collarbone. Based on the things that happened to me. under the arm, somewhere along the line, top of the head, I decided I was unworthy. Go back to the eyebrow, I choose to clear that now, side of the eye, because part of me knows under the eye and has always known under the nose that is a lie on the chin i am valuable on the collarbone i am worthy say it with pride say it with passion Under the armpit, I am unique. Top of the head, I am good enough. 
Take a nice deep breath in, a nice deep breath out, and give yourself a little bit of shake. And now what I want you to do for me is go back to your score on the score of I am enough, one to 10. Where were you and how do you rate yourself now? And as I said, you may feel a little bit of a shift in your body. Please have a chance to relax. As you've got, there's loads of videos on YouTube if you want to try something. Um, great for children, great for getting rid of habits, chocolate, smoking, all sorts of different things. If you have any questions, then please contact me. But I hope you enjoyed that.